All right, we're going to discuss some of the beds. Now, as far as documented to the house, we know that Fanny Allen brought three bedsteads into her marriage. And bedsteads typically during this time period were a box, uh, a box made out of wood with the crisscross ropes. Uh, all the ropes were usually made out of hemp. And these ropes would stretch over time. So you would have to tighten the ropes up. And that's where this curious little object came in. This is called a key. And what they would do is start on one end where the knot was tied, and they'd work their way all the way around, fitting the key into this and tightening it up. And then once they got all the way around, everything was tightened up, they'd uh, retie the knot. The tighter your ropes were, the more comfortable your bed was. And uh, that's where we get the expression, sleep tight. As far as mattresses, uh, a typical mattress, the good kind of mattress was made with goose down. And they were incredibly expensive. They had to be collected periodically over time. So oftentimes, unless the family was incredibly wealthy, which the Allens definitely were not, uh, they would not have gotten, they, they might have had one goose mattress that the parents would sleep on where the rest of the family would sleep on something like this, which are called straw ticks. These are canvas or linen bags stuffed with dry straw. And you may think that this is kind of an awful way to sleep. However, um, these are actually fairly comfortable. They're, for the time period, these, were, these did just fine, and they could be stored underneath the bed. You have to understand people's concepts of space because the house and the home was the primary work environment as well as the primary living environment. People organize their space in a lot of different ways. The idea of having your own bedroom or having a space that was just your personal space for relaxation was something that just was very foreign to them um, and was typically reserved for the very wealthy. Uh, but it would be at nighttime, you pull out everything you need, sleep and then put it all away because you're going to be working in that area the very next day.